So now I want to talk to you a little bit about outfitting. Your kayak came with a mesh bag that's full of foam. What you want to do is pull all those bits of foam out and kind of lay them out on the ground. In addition for your, for your boat, you're also going to need a screwdriver. We're going to talk about that later, but it's nice to go ahead and find that. Okay, start out with just kind of give yourself a little bit more of protection up by your feet. You have a bunch of pieces in your boat that kind of look like this. Some are skinny, some are thick. Okay, these are going to go on your bulkhead, and we recommend that you use as many of these as you can fit up there, okay, starting with the big one. And if you've got too long a legs, use the big one, then you can move to the smaller ones. And what you want to do is just start by deciding how many you're going to use. You can sit in your boat, put these in there with the paper on so they don't stick so that you know how many you're going to use. Next thing you want to do is just remove the backing, it just slides right off of there, and you just stick these two things together like that. The last thing you do is remove the backing on the big piece and you're going to put this down inside of your boat, the flat side, the inside. And you simply just kind of stick this in there, slide it all the way forward, and give it a little push so that it sticks firmly to that bulkhead up there. And then just do the same thing for the other side. So once you get your foam stuck to your bulkhead up there, it's time to actually get that thing in approximately the position that you'll want to paddle it in. And whenever you're outfitting your boat, it's fine to do it in your dry clothes. You just want to wear something close to what you would normally paddling in, and that goes for your shoes as well. So to adjust your bulkhead, you're just going to reach inside your boat, and there's two little yellow wing nuts that just attach the rail, which is the metal piece with the holes in it, to the side of the boat. And you just want to unscrew both of those, taking care not to lose the little yellow wing nuts, and you can just kind of put them in the middle of your boat. And then you just pop this thing off the sides, and you can then push it forwards and pull it backwards until you get it about where you want. And a little tip for this is, if you pull this thing off so that it's not on the little, um, not on the screws and then you actually sit in your boat you can adjust the bulkhead it'll automatically slide to where it needs to be for you then you can climb back out put the bulkhead on and screw the wing nuts back on so the next thing we're going to want to do after you've adjusted your bulkhead and added your foam to it is go ahead and get your hip pads okay go ahead and get them to the right thickness and the cool thing about dagger hip pads is they're really easy to adjust. There's no more shaving foam or anything like that. In your outfitting bag, you come a little plastic bag that's full of these shims, okay? You're gonna use these to get these to the right width that you need them. So before you do anything, you wanna sit in there. If it feels good, don't worry about it. If it feels like you need a little bit more, go ahead and hop back out, and you're gonna wanna loosen the straps that attach the hip pads to the boat, okay? You can kinda see there on the back side of the seat, it's just a little piece of nylon that's on a little bit of a buckle. Loosen those, do not totally undo them. You're actually gonna to wanna to leave the hip pads attached to the boat when you're putting your shims in. Okay, the next thing is you're gonna go ahead and unvelcro it so that you can kinda of turn it over and release this little piece which opens up this sleeve on the back side of the hip pad. And then you can add whatever shims you need and just a little another little hint is in this bag there's a lot of different types of shims okay it really gives you the most room for your adjustment if you want the whole hip pad to get snugger you can use the one that's an even thickness okay you can use more than one you just put two together and stick them in there we also have these shims that are thinner on one side and thicker on the other and the way these work is if you want the bottom of the hip pad to move closer to you, but you're okay with the top of the hip pad where it is, you want to put that in so the thick side is down. And vice versa, if you don't want me, if you don't want the bottom of the hip pad to move in, but you want a little more snugness on the top, put this in so the thin side is down. And what that does is just allow you a lot of different arrangements of adjustment. You can use these in any combination. You can use a normal size one with a different thickness. You can use them by themselves, use them however you want, but just kind of be aware that there's a lot of different types of shims in that little bag. We're going to talk about your back band. Okay, and there's a couple key things that you want to do when you are adjusting this. We actually have several points where you can adjust your back band. 
Okay, first off, you want to check before you do anything, you want to look and check the straps that actually hold the top of the back band to the back of the cockpit rim. When you're adjusting this for the first time, you want to make sure that these are loose. Oftentimes from the factory, they come really tight. So go ahead and just loosen those things up. Okay, the next thing you want to do is look behind your back band. You'll notice there's two tabs. Okay, a lot of times your back band, again, it comes really loose. And the first thing you want to do is tighten these things up. You want to do your major adjustment right behind your back band here. You want to pull those until they're tight enough so that up here at the front, your ratchets, when they're kind of near the front of the ratchet, your back band should be just a little bit behind the back of your seat. And again, if it's not, you want to tighten that thing up from the back. Okay, next go ahead and get in your kayak. And again, you want to make sure that the ratcheting part is kind of up there near the front. And to do that, you just simply push on the little back ta black tab, pull it back towards you, put a little pressure on your back band, and you can see that that just kind of releases it and lets it go near the front. Be careful not to pull it all the way out. And then go ahead and slide in. And just to test this, go ahead and then just ratchet this forward like this until you get to a nice snug position on your back band. And what you're kind of looking for is that when you're in the in your boat, totally ready to go, that these ratchets are about halfway down the teeth. If you notice that they're really far to the front, you want to loosen behind your back band a little bit. And likewise, if you notice that you've got a bunch of this ratchet sticking out, that it goes way in front of your thigh braces, you actually want to get out and go ahead and tighten this up behind your back band so that this is where it's at the strongest is when the ratchet is about halfway down the teeth. Next we're going to talk about adjusting your thigh braces and for most of you this won't apply. Most boats come and people are able to paddle them without moving your thigh braces but if for some reason you feel like they're too far back as in they're pinching on your thighs or that they're too far forward that they're too much onto your knees we do want you to know that it is possible to move these things and it's actually not very hard. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get your screwdriver, Phillips head, and you're just going to loosen this bolt right here. Okay, a couple of turns. You don't actually want to take this all the way out. It's very hard to get back in if you take it all the way out. Just loosen. You can see that there's actually a slot or a groove here that it'll slide along. Okay, and then last thing you want to do is just give it a little hit so that it kind of releases from the inside. The next thing you want to do is the same thing over here on the side of the cockpit rim, the one that's closest to the seat. And again, if you feel underneath it, you'll notice there's actually a little slot or a groove where that thing can slide along. So again, this is one you don't want to unscrew all the way. So you just loosen that baby a couple of turns. And again, just give it a good hit with your palm so that it releases from the bottom. The last thing you want to do is take this front one and actually unscrew this all the way. So you're going to reach your hand down underneath there and as you unscrew it the washer and the bolt on the back side will come off in your hand just place these in the water bottle holder and go ahead and unscrew this and you notice that when you're feeling down there at the bottom there's a several pre-drilled holes and so you'll just unscrew this bolt enough so that you can kind of separate this and then you'll be able to uh, move it back and forth once that front bolt is separated you can kind of adjust it to where you need to. And keep in mind that you might have to give it a pretty solid tug to get that thing to move initially. And you can try, you know, unscrewing these a little bit more, but be really careful not to unscrew them all the way and lose the bolt on the back side. And the last thing you want to do is remember to tighten everything back down. So the last thing I want to talk to you about is just moving your seat. Okay, with our creek seats, what I would recommend is that you actually paddle your boat first because it's entirely possible that you might not need to move it. Okay, so go ahead and paddle your boat and paddle it more than once. Okay, go ahead and get some good time in it and uh, see if you need to move your seat. And again, if you feel like you're paddling it and you feel like you're backloaded, that your stern is always in the water or that your bow is too far in the water, again, it is possible to move our creek seats. It's actually not very hard, but you don't need to do it unless you have to. So if you do decide you want to move your seat, what you want to do is just start with these two bolts that are right beside the hip pads. And you're just going to loosen these things. 
Okay, again, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead and give it a couple turns, okay? So that you start to create a little bit of space between the washer and the top of the bolt. And go ahead and do it for both bolts and try to get them about the same height. And before you move to the other side, you want to put your screwdriver vertical in the bolt and just hit it with the palm of your hand. Okay? And what this does is it just breaks the plate that's on the bottom of your seat free, which is going to allow it to move. Okay? And then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now, there's one more piece. Before you actually go to move your seat, you want to come to the very front of it where it attaches to the step out pillar and you're just going to completely unscrew this bolt here. And this is a little bit of the tricky part because as you unscrew it, you want to make sure that you don't totally lose it down into the, um, down into the pillar. If you do, it's not a big deal. You can find it and it's pretty easy to get out there. So just get it right till the very end so it starts to wobble. And then you can kind of just reach in there give it the last couple turns by hand and pull it out. And that washer should come out with it. If it doesn't, just kind of wedge your fingers down in there and you can pull it out, okay? Now you're ready to move your seat. And same thing with your thigh brace. At the front here, there's three pre-drilled positions. Okay, so it won't move anywhere. You'll have to line this back up with one of the recessed bolts that's in the actual seat. So it should come in the middle so you'll be able to move it one forward and one back. And what you'll want to do is take care not to lose that bolt, put it in your pocket. And you'll actually want to stand your kayak up on its nose, grab it behind the seat, just kind of lift it up and drop it. And that should knock it forward. Okay, and then you'll be able to do, shift it around a little bit to screw that bolt back in. The final thing is remember to screw this bolt back into the front and definitely remember to tighten your seat bolts back down these ones that you loosened on the side so that you don't get any water in there once you start to go paddle. If you look inside your boat, you'll notice that your seat has two yellow wing nuts, one in the front, one in the back, and then there's a series of uh, pre-drilled holes. And you'll also notice that you have this strange piece in your outfitting bag. It's basically like kind of like a pyramid with a bolt sticking out of it. Okay, this is a seat riser and you want to get this out. You might like it, you might not, but it's nice to know how it works. And then you can uh, paddle your boat a little bit and decide. So to adjust your seat, and it is really nice to be able to, to adjust your seat, you're just simply going to unscrew both of these wing nuts. And then you just see that allows you to lift up and you can just slide the seat to any number of positions from pretty far back, which is going to weight the stern of your kayak more, to really far forward, which weights the bow. And if you're unsure and you've never paddled a boat that you could adjust your seat in or you're new to kayaking, you actually want to start with your seat as far forward as you feel comfortable. If you have long legs, sometimes you can't get it all the way forward, but you want to have it all the way forward or almost all the way forward to start with. Um, and what I would recommend is paddling it a couple of times with the seat in a position before you just immediately switch it. Um, and that way you can get a real feel for it. But again, if you're not sure, put it forward. Okay, and then you'll want to just screw these little wing nuts back on. Start with the back. Just tighten it down. And then if you want this piece, and again, this is an optional piece, try it without it some and then you can try it with it. And what this does is it goes under the front of your seat and it's actually a riser. And you can see what it does. It's got grooves on the bottom that fit right over the welded in track here. So you just slide it in and you can see that it matches up perfectly. You just slide it down and you notice that the further I push that back, the more that it kind of lifts the front of the seat. And what this does is help hold your legs into the thigh braces. So if you feel like you're really loose in your boat or you want a little more snug feeling, I would use this piece. Go ahead and slide it in there, 
start with it kind of in the middle and then if you're wanting a little more aggressive you can push it further back and what that does again is hold your legs into your thigh braces or your knee braces a little bit more it gives you greater control and kind of a more snug fit and a lot of folks really like that